So the first thing we're going to look at is the fractions, and we want to think about what the common denominator would be by using the least common multiple. In this case, with the denominators 5 and 2, we know that it would be 10. And instead of using it to combine the fractions, we're going to use it to get rid of them because 2 and 5 both go into 10, so it'll just cancel. So we'll multiply 10 by both sides because whatever you do on one side of the equation, you do to the other. So now we look at multiplying those. So 5 goes into 10 twice in the 3 fifths. So we're really going to cancel and divide before we multiply it. So that leaves us with 2 times 3 once it cancels. So that gives us 6. 2 goes into 10 5 times. So that 2 cancels out there. So we really have 5 times 5, which is 25. And then that equals 40x plus 10. Now we can combine these two constants to get 31 equals 40x plus 10. And we want to work on getting x by itself now. So let's subtract this 10 from both sides to get rid of it on the x side. We have 21 equals 40x. And let's also divide by 40 to get rid of the coefficient in front of the x. And doing so gives us x equals 21 over 40. And that is our solution.